Hi folks, Total Sales Solutions in Jackson, Mississippi, where I thought we had sold every kind of motorhome in the world, folks, over the past 15 years. Pretty much convinced of it until we got this one today. We're gonna sell a motorhome uh, that, you know, is, is just different. So please pay attention to what we say about it. I don't wanna have any confusion. This motorhome is a, it's titled as a 2004. However, it went into service in 2006. We'll show you it was custom built for the state of Mississippi. It's the state of Mississippi's emergency command center. It's a Forest River motor home. It has three slides. It only has 19,000 miles on a 330 horsepower cat. It has two generators. The front generator is a 7.5 Onan quiet diesel generator. In the rear, it has a 12,000 or 12 kW Onan quiet diesel generator that would pull a big town. Sitting on a matching set of tires, the date code is 2011, however, it probably doesn't have a thousand miles on it. But it has triple slides and it's set up as a command center. Now you can make a motorhome out of it, uh, but for a municipality or a state or someone, a police department who needs one of these, they're gonna be able to buy a motorhome that costs in the hundreds of thousands of dollars for a mere pitch because we're gonna sell it no reserve, correct? Yeah. We're gonna sell it no reserve, so someone's gonna buy it. This is a pretty amazing deal. Come on, we're gonna show it to you. The front generator, the 7.5 quiet diesel generator is running. You can see all the lights, everything works. Uh, Brandon's gonna, we'll show it to you here. See how quiet that thing is? Uh, no D-Lamb, none of that. As I said, the tires are 2011. And they're on alloy wheels, not hubcaps. Yeah, they're alloy wheels. Plus, they probably don't have a thousand miles on They have, see how stripes are? You can barely see it. It needs to be pumped out. It says Command Operations Center. These are passed through storage containers down here. We've not cleaned it up. This is the way it came to us. But I want you to look out right how nice it is. There's your sewage. filter water system. It has a back door, uh, an escape door here. Uh, it's got these uh, brand new set of batteries. Brand new. We just put them, they just put them in. And it's got a battery tender, so you just plug it in. It's got these big power lights here. They do work. They're halogens on both corners. This is a 330 horsepower cat engine. So we got 19,000 miles. It's got every type of hook up. That is a gigantic pitch. Now this lever goes up this is all the way. What's on top framing? A lot of times of aluminum framing on top. You can so walk you around. Work from up there. You can work. Here's a, you can see back under here how clean it is, obviously no rusting. You can position your snipers on the roof. Now there is a little crazy on some of these. 12KW ODM uh, commercial mobile power. I know something costs how they generate the power. $381,000. I don't know what this is. That's your storage tanks that's set up full RV with your gray water, your fresh water, and your black water tanks and the water pump, all that, so. Three slides. And the slide awnings are all good. Now the roof is a little dirty. We hadn't gotten up there to wash it, but it'll clean up real nice. You can see a little paint checking on it, no big deal. This is, these, both these are full pass through. It's got a propane tank. There's no lights on. No lights on. That 330 cat cranks right up. Uh, 
I'm showing that stiff well cover oh, work. Okay. And it does work. No lights on. They uh, probably had a little monitor or something mounted here. You could put a backup camera in or something. Range. Got CB, there's all your light switches, screens, your generator controls for one of the generators. There's all your slide controls. It does have an exhaust brake. It's got jacks. 19,000. 343 miles got a stereo these are all workstations uh, and they've got computer monitors set up in them there's another TV over here I don't know how many monitors are there's a bunch I can tell you right now there's, there's four or five still in it man this would make a great deer camp golly bum you could put much, bunks in each yeah without much conversion at all come on back here son this floor is heavy duty you can clean it up real easy here yeah we've not touched it here's more monitors of course these will come out if you want to take them out uh, i don't know what all this is this operates all these systems back here this uh, is all the wiring for the computer monitors and the satellites or whatever it had in it but you could pull all this out if you wanted to none of this has anything to do with operating the RV, it's just for all the extra stuff. It does have three air conditioners on top. It's got uh, a coffee maker, got a fridge, microwave. I believe that's that's a convection microwave, I believe. None of this has been used, coffee maker. Uh, here's your bathroom. Obviously no leaks ever anywhere. That's a porcelain commode. That's uh, only the best for our government work. That's right, a test of the quality of it. Back here, uh, I guess this is where the head cheese said, I don't know, but at the fan, without much effort at all, you could turn this into, I'm talking about for a little or nothing, turn this into a motorhome that would sleep a gang of folks, be a great camp. That wasn't cheap. Uh, just, there's not many flaws on it, folks. I mean, it's, it's what it is. But God knows what they spent on this. Look at all that wiring to run all these computers. And now all that can come out. And that is a 12 kW, uh, what would you say, uh, mobile power? Co uh, mobile command mobile, what power. Else? Now all these air conditioners, they're just missing all the little plastic vents. You can buy them at Camper World, I think, for 20 or 30 bucks a piece if they bother you. Now, by the way, folks, we Dan take a picture of it on the back you can call and ask them if you want to this is not a homemade deal the state didn't make this they had this converted uh by what is it american catastrophe center or north something. american catastrophe yeah, they, services they or convert these for but no telling gosh knows what this could have cost i guess and here's the guy's information i guess whoever uh, wired it all up if you need to talk to him about the wiring uh, mobile satellite TV and high speed internet communications In Montgomery, Alabama. but all the air conditioners they have their own ther thermostats I guess one of them's got a heat strip according to this I'm going to turn a couple of them off because it's freezing in here As you can see all the lights there's no soft spots no leaks, well, no D lamb. State, you know, so they're gonna they got unlimited money, so there wouldn't be any. You can see we got enough keys here, folks. We have all the keys. I don't know what it would take to do that. I, I, I don't know what this is worth, folks. I don't know what it cost. I know it cost a sack full of money. As I said, its title is an 04, but according to them, it came into service in 06. It's got 2011 tires on it that probably don't have a thousand miles on them. They look perfect. No dry rotting or cracking. A 330 <coughs> Cat that's only got 19,000 miles on it. Cranks right up, no lights on or any of that. Brand new set of batteries. You saw the outside of it, how pretty it is. The top has had all that aluminum decking put on it so you can go up there and walk around or do whatever you need to do to observe. And it's in the pictures. And in, inside, man, this would be so easily converted into such a cool camp. But anyway, that's what it is. It belonged to the state of Mississippi. It was an emergency control center, command center. We're going to do our best to sell it. When this auction's over, someone's going to own it. It's uh, 
However, if you see it listed later on a best offer, if you, <laughs> then you, that means we got a deadbeat bidder. On the other hand, if you know what you want to give for it or you want to make an offer, please feel free if you have any questions to give me a call. 601-218-1223. Everyone says I talk too fast. So 601-218-1223. That's my cell phone. You can call me weekends, night, whenever you want to. If perchance I'm on the phone and I don't answer it, I will, I will call you back. But I mean, it's a great thing, folks. I mean, if you just want a motorhome, if you're a municipality, if you're a state, if you're whatever, and you need one of these, Man, you talk about saving some serious money on a motorhome that's barely broken in. On the other hand, it would take so little to convert this into just a wonderful uh, uh, camp house. But that's what it is. We're going to do our best to sell it. Thank you so much for watching this video. We surely do appreciate that. Look forward to talking to you about it. Look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you.